Today we have some exciting news. Meta has just released their latest open source language model, Llama 2, and it's got some serious upgrades over its predecessor, Llama 1. So let's dive right in and explore what makes Llama 2 stand out from the crowd. So what's all the buzz about with Llama 2? Well, it's more than your typical language model. It represents a significant advancement in various key areas. First off, Llama 2 boasts enhanced data quality and cutting edge training methodologies, including some truly innovative research artifacts. This means it can process information with greater accuracy and efficiency. Meta invested a jaw dropping 20 million or more into training Llama 2, quite the investment but they've also done the community a tremendous favor by releasing the model with a commercially friendly license. That's a game changer for AI researchers, especially those from big companies who were previously hesitant due to licensing issues with Llama 1. With this release, we can expect a wave of new contributions from these research powerhouses. One of the most fascinating aspects of Llama 2 is the human study that Meta's team conducted. They evaluated Llama 2's helpfulness using 4,000 prompts and measured its performance using a metric called win rate, similar to the Vicuna benchmark. Interestingly, the 70 billion parameter model stands toe to toe with GPT 3.5, outperforming other models like Falcon, MPT, and Vicuna. Personally, I find human ratings like these more insightful than academic benchmarks because they better capture the real world experience. However, it's worth noting that Llama 2 isn't quite at the level of GPT 3.5 when it comes to coding abilities. While it performs well on human eval, it doesn't match up to specialized coding models like StarCoder, but don't fret. Thanks to its open weights, there's plenty of room for improvement. And I'm confident Llama 2 will only get better with time. Safety is always a top priority in the world of AI, and Meta's team goes above and beyond to ensure Lambda 2 is built on strong safety guardrails. Nearly half the white paper is dedicated to discussing safety measures, red teaming, and evaluations. Speaking of the white paper, it's a masterpiece in itself. Unlike some other models, <laughs> GPT-4, um, Lambda 2's white paper shares the entire uh, recipe and making process. It shares the model details, training stages, hardware specs, data pipeline, annotation process. They even provide systemic analysis with stunning visualizations. I will do a more thorough breakdown of the paper in a future video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button for that. Apple is known for its innovative approach to technology, but even they are keeping a close eye on the potential paradigm shift that generative AI could bring. This groundbreaking technology has the power to revolutionize how we use our phones, computers, and other devices. To stay ahead in the AI game, Apple has been strategically building the foundation for AI services, and it all starts with the Ajax framework. This was designed to unify machine learning development within the company. It's a crucial step towards harnessing the full potential of generative AI. Apple has also developed an internal tool similar to the popular ChatGPT to explore the capabilities of this technology. Initially, it was an experiment conducted by a small engineering team at the end of last year. However, due to security concerns about generative AI, its rollout was put on hold. But now, it's been given the green light and extended to more employees within the company. This initial chatbot app built on the Ajax framework is set to replicate the functionalities of well-known AI systems like BARD, ChatGPT, and Bing AI. While it doesn't bring any groundbreaking features, it's a significant step forward for Apple in exploring the possibilities of generative AI. Increasingly, Apple's Ajax system is built on top of Google Jax which is Google's own machine learning framework. And to power their cloud services alongside their own infrastructure, Apple systems run on the reliable Google Cloud. Apple is eyeing a prime spot to integrate its LLM technology into Siri.